come to Portugal, they said, sunshine every day, they said, well, it's sunny every moment, can't escape the ray of dread. From dear Portugal to the Bime, this is how terrible it is to live in a country that has 300 days of sunshine. Let's check it out. He's good, he's good. He's good, he's good. Weekend. It's Portuguese good. All right, before we get started, I notice that many of you who enjoy my content still haven't gotten around to subscribing. It costs you nothing to subscribe, but it really, really helps me out. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Go on, smash it. And if you don't... That's ignorant. All right, let's get into it. So guys, look up there. That big bloody yellow thing, that big yellow hot ball hanging up in the sky and all this blue stuff. What is that? This is the second day in a row that they forecast rain and it's been sunny and I'm here to complain about it. It's not all, not a bed of roses. People often go on about how great it is to live in a, such a sunny country, but I'm going to tell you it's not all good. Number one, loss of identity. Now I'm supposed to be an English guy, which means I'm supposed to be white, pasty and pale, but look at this brown skin. All year round I have this brown skin. What the hell kind of Englishman is that? Completely lost my identity, guys. People say, are you an Englishman? And I say, of course not, look at me. So yeah, lost all credibility as an Englishman. Don't ask me to take my t-shirt off though. That could blind you even more than today's sun could, even though it's supposed to be raining. Number two, guys, you get into the car, you wanna just go for a drive. Should be just something simple and straightforward. Just want to go to the supermarket or just want to take the dogs for a walk or just go for a little drive. Just some, something that everyone else takes for granted, but not here in Portugal. Most days you get into the car, you do the normal things, you put your seatbelt on, get the car started. But can you just drive away like you can in any other country? No. First of all, you have to take all of these extra steps just to do a normal everyday mundane task. Number one, sunglasses on. And number two, you have to pull this thing down, the sun visor, just so that you can drive. It does my head in. Number three, guys, what's one of the ways you can get relief from this, un from this constant, unrelenting sunshine? Yes, you know, any of you who follow the channel know that I like to go out and buy myself a nice ice cream on these hot days. But what happens? What happens to ice cream in the sun, Portugang? Yes, you know, it starts to melt. So before you know it, that delicious relief from the sun is melting all over your hand. And that's a real problem and a real disadvantage of living somewhere sunny like uh, Portugal is ice cream melting on your hand on a sunny day. So don't believe the hype. It's not all good. But Portuguese, you're a motorcyclist, I hear you say. As soon as the sun comes out, you can take your bike out for a ride. And that's true. But did you know that the sun can also glare into your eyes and that could happen at the wrong moment and you could crash your bike. So it's literally a risk to your life. The sun coming out, sure, you can get the bike out, sun in your eyes, dead, game over. Just another reason not to move to a country like Portugal that has so much sunshine. Now, as a teacher, I've got a lot of lesson planning to do and that's indoors work. I can't sit indoors on a sunny day. So rather than doing my work, I find myself sitting out here on the porch, enjoying a nice cup of tea in the sun. So there you go, guys. The sunshine interrupts your workflow every time, every single time. Just another reason not to move to Portugal with its 300 days of sunshine. Absolutely terrible. What a life. My life is ruined. Now look at my outdoor area, guys. So for weeks, I've been threatening to tidy up because it looks like a bloody builder's yard. But I've been able to, uh, I've been able to get out of it because of the rain. But now that it's sunny again, I've got no excuse. I've got to have to do it or my sons are going to come home and say, why haven't you done that job that you said you were putting off till it's sunny? I can't believe it. God, I hate the sun. Well, rain or shine. We still have to do our exercise, don't we? So I'm still out here doing my walking every day. But hang on a minute. What's that smell? Well, I can smell something absolutely terrible. Oh my God, it's me, sweating. There you go, guys. Another big disadvantage of living in a sunny country like Portugal. 
do any little bit of movement outside, and next thing you know, you're drenched in sweat. Absolutely stinking I am. What the hell? Just another reason to uh, not live in such a sunny country as Portugal. 300 days of sunshine, 300 days of stinking armpits, I say. Bah humbug. All right, guys, I've finished my hike. Hopefully I haven't got too much sunburn on the top of my head. Feeling a bit tired now, so I fancy a little bit of a, fancy a little bit of a nap. So my question is, guys, is it possible to be able to take a nap with this bright, this bright sunshine? I think no, and that's just another disadvantage, guys. Too much sunshine. What chance have you got of having a little afternoon nap? A little reward for all that exertion. No chance at all. No chance at all. Stop the press, guys. Has anyone called Greta to see what she has to say about the situation? Global warming. Now look, I don't know anything about science, but I'm pretty sure that this big hot ball up in the sky here must be contributing towards global warming somehow. The only defense we seem to have against it is all these uh, naturally forming, naturally forming clouds that we can see here. Now, when I say naturally forming, you can see how natural they are because they're all made by these straight lines that then later on somehow spread out, blocking the sun. Don't ask me any more about that. I wouldn't want to be accused of uh, saying anything untoward on YouTube. Now guys, I don't know if that was 10 things or not. And if it wasn't 10 things, that's definitely not because I can't think of 10 things that are negative uh, about the sun in Portugal. But anyway, I think I'm gonna wrap this very, very serious video up here. If you like this type of content and you're new around here, please consider subscribing. It really, really helps me out. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Muito obrigado, amigos. Ciao. Come to Portugal, they said. Sunshine every day, they said. Well, it's sunny every moment. Can't escape the ray of dread. Ice cream drips down my skin Like tears of a long lost kin Can't nap under this heat Wishing for clouds to begin Living hell in paradise The sweat never lies Hear me out, this ain't a dream Or like a steamy disguise Sunburn surprise Can't escape the blazing light Even when I close my eyes Shade is but a myth They tell in Portugal's bright tale Feeling like a roasted ghost Under the sun's harsh gale a million degrees rising Can't stand this endless blaze Praying for a rain cloud To wash away these sunny days Living hell in paradise The sweat never lies Hear me out, this ain't a dream More like a steamy disguise Pasty white skin turned to toast In a sunburnt surprise Can't